Okay, Atlas, so we have an old lights fixture, and we're going to replace the ballast. Right now, it's wired kind of funky. It's kind of a strange... Not, the guys at the Home Depot didn't quite understand how, or even at the local hardware store. So, but that doesn't matter what it is now. What matters is how it ends up and getting it done the right way. So you have the black and the white wires that lead into the, the new ballast. And then on the other side, there are two wires. There's one blue wire that's gonna go to one light and another one to the other. And we're gonna just split the, the signal here so that it goes onto the two prongs. And then on the other side, there's a red wire that's going to go to the other side of the lamps. And this is gonna get split once and then a second time here to the two leads in uh, the new lamp. Okay, so this is the old ballast. This is the new ballast. Uh, you got the, the two, the black and the white lead in from uh, the power. And then you got this yellow cable and then you got this red and a green and a blue and two reds. Not really sure how that's wired, but we're gonna wire it to how the diagram specifies. Uh, over here in uh, with the with the new ballast right here and similarly as it's shown on the diagram well it's shown the diagram the black and the white leading in from the house power two blues going to one side and then the red is going to be jumped to the opposite side so I'm just going to take this ballast out and put in uh, the new ballast all right Okay, so I replaced uh, the, took out the old ballast, and just like the wiring diagram, the two blue wires go to one side, see here, and it splits it to these two wires on this side. Likewise, the other blue wire splits it down here to two wires, then the red gets split to this other side. Right here, there was an extra jumper that uh, I just went ahead and uh, cut and on the other side, I, I wired it in, so it looks good. I've got it here sitting on the workbench, and we're going to do a, a bench test before we uh, mount this back up on the wall, or on the ceiling, better yet. And we're going to slide in, and the tubes here, the lights. They click in place on one side, and we're going to put them in on the other side, and we'll go in, and they click in place. Really quick, these are LED light bulbs. Uh, they're not omnidirectional, they are unidirectional. If I were to put them in the wrong way, uh, i got to take them out now. To illustrate the point here, if you put them in the wrong way and or spin them the wrong way, as you can see, this label comes up. That lets you know they're in the wrong way. So you gotta spin them, lock them in place. Right now, I've got a temporary setup here through a circuit, a uh, power strip. Turn it on. It works. So I'm just gonna put the cover back on. Uh, actually, I gotta take the bolts back out and then mount uh, mount this back up on the on the ceiling. Good job. Good job. Up high. Okay, so these two prongs right here, one, two, they actually have to slide into those two things down there, and they're spring loaded. So when this goes down, lines up. Then you turn it, and it locks into the two prongs. Let me show you really quick where they are. Okay, so the prongs that they lock into, I don't know if you can see it on screen. They're right there. One prong, two prongs, and those are spring-loaded, and they catch the, the end of the lamp right there. Uh, here, you can just hold the phone. Right there. See these two things right there? One, two, they go in and they lock in on that. Cool, thank you.